Sydney Regional Medical Center was approved financing for a new long-term care facility and is now taking the steps toward breaking ground. SRMC CEO Jason Pettick said $12 million of the $19.5 million facility will be financed long-term with the USDA. The long-term financing has been approved uh, through the USDA. Again, that's 40-year financing at like 2.5%. Pettick says the next step is choosing a contractor, which he hopes to have by the end of the year. Then and to work through final design with the architect and the uh, contractor uh, and then hopefully all the moon stars align and we're putting shovels in the ground in the spring. Pettick says the new facility will help reach the needs of more residents and help nurses with efficiency. We did some time studies in the current facility and a nurse aide who's there eight hours a day in a shift they were spending between three and four hours a day just in transferring residents from their room to the dining room and back. Not only is the current facility less efficient, but Pettick says the windows, siding, and roof would have needed repairs that could have cost up to eight to ten million dollars. Long-term care is provided a whole different way than it was 20 years ago, even five years ago, and it's going to continue to change going forward, and we just need to make sure that we're ready for that. One of those changes to be made is adding a memory care facility with 19 beds for patients with Alzheimer's and dementia. Pettick says the hospital board takes giving back to its community seriously and has donated 100000 to the community this year through 4-H programs, the Sydney Park Project, different schools in the area, and Pheasants Forever. For News Channel Nebraska, I'm Sarah McCoy.